Hi, I'm Kay. Thank you so much for joining me for my big review for Tea Leaf Layer by Beltress in the color Honey with Chai Latte. Just so you know, this is not straight out of the box. I link a video up here for my unboxing and we will see um, what it looks like straight out of the box then. But I had it now a few months and I thought I'd do the review now. But let's start with the color Honey with Chai Latte. I love this color. I think it's a beautiful, warmer blonde. So what you have is a blend of warm, medium blonde and pale golden blonde with platinum highlights and a medium brown root. It's quite a dimensional color. I really, I really do like it. The root, it does say in the description it's a medium brown um, and I do think that's true, but I think it, it pulls a little bit red in the sunlight. What you have with tea leaf, let me back up, is a medium length um, piece that has a fringe and some face framing layers. I think it's a really pretty piece. <laughs> let me show you tea leaf layer from all sides. And even though she's been used a lot, I think she still has a lot of really nice natural movement. I have added heat to it a few times. So don't forget, um, most, I think even all of Beltraz's, um pieces are heat friendly and they need heat. Um, so if you see a little bit of frizz, put heat on it. Um, always check the manufacturer's guidelines, but they do need heat to look their best, so to speak. So I do add heat probably once a week to them. So let's look at the cap construction. We have a fully hand tied cap. We have a very extended lace front. So here are the ear tabs and you can see that the lace front wraps around it and then all the way around to the other one. You have a full mono top, hand tight. The ear tabs are very, very slim and sit really flush against my head. Um, so they are the silicone ones with metal stays in them. So you can add adhesive if you want to, but they are so slim. You will not know they are there at all. You have a bra strap like adjusters. You have a net covered nape. And there is a bit of stretch in this cap. I think this is one of the most natural pieces I have ever tried. Um, simply because of how flat it sits against my head. There is no permatease in here at all. I love that it is really flat against my head. And I do think that just gives it that very natural look. Also because of that very extended lace front, you have that lovely line here and these ear tabs, they are so thin, but sturdy, <laughs> that it just, you wouldn't know they are there. And therefore that's really good also for glasses wearers. I wear glasses every day um, and they don't bother me at all. Fit wise, um, Beltres normally runs big on me. I'm a 21.5 inch circumference. This one still does run big. I do have gapping quite a bit at the back. I don't think you would know there is lots of lots of gapping here. For some reason, this cap still hugs my head really nicely and therefore it's comfortable. It looks natural in my opinion and it just, I don't need to wear a wig with it either. So let's look at the lace front. So I think the lace front is done really well. I might have plucked it a little bit. Um, as you can see, the lighter pieces have come to the front and therefore I don't think you can really see much knotting. However, what I don't like is that the lighter pieces only come to about here. And even though you still have that lace front and you might want to pull it all back because you can, 
I think it just looks a bit odd <laughs> that these lighter pieces haven't been put round here. I just find it looks a bit strange if you pull it back like this. It just looks like they forgot the sides. I think the parting is really well done. Obviously you can part it wherever you like. So really natural. When I unboxed it and if you look at that video that I linked in earlier, you will see that the fringe has a bit of a mind of its own when it first came out of the box. So it did take a little bit of training. I just put some water on uh, it, put clips down to keep it down where I wanted it and then eventually also added some heat to really redirect the fibers where I wanted them because it was just weirdly flipping up and just did things that it just looked odd. Not every piece is perfect out of the box. And certainly this one wasn't. I had the same issue with the same wig that I have in Chocolate with Caramel. The fringe was even worse then. So just something to bear in mind that the two I had were a bit funny with the fringe. So you might have to do a little bit of work there. But otherwise I, I love it. I think it's really lightweight. It's really natural. The density is certainly low. The nape isn't extended, so I don't think I would really do a higher ponytail. I probably would just do a low ponytail. So let's take you outside. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Please like and subscribe if you did for more wig reviews and more wig related content. If you have any questions and comments, please put them below. Also follow me on Instagram at kwaswigs. I wish you a lovely day and I hope I see you soon.